Okay. So just let me get this straight. If we fail our wisdom saving throws, we have to pick a new target or lose our attack. So we simply just attack the chief goblin, right? That's not so bad, I guess. Might even be a positive if we take out the rider, then perhaps one of us could control it. Rogan, your character is good with animals, right? Do you think you could tame it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. My character spent his life around dangerous beasts, so this shouldn't be too much of a difference. Okay, so if we focus our attacks on the chief goblin instead of the rex, we bypass Joe's sanctuary spell. Eventually it'll need to make an at... Hold on, Ben. Well, why hasn't the chief had any turns? I'm glad you asked, Barack. You see, for this scenario, the Rex and Goblin are one and the same enemy. I've just been choosing to focus on what the Rex does, and you can imagine that the Chief is controlling its actions. Shit. So we either attack and risk failing, or we don't attack. Losing what advantage we could have had. Good fucking going, Joe. Thanks, Barack. Well, if I have to attack another creature, guess who I'm coming for, Mr. Squishy Cleric? That's not an option, right, Ben? Well, technically, he can target you, Joe. You did sort of give him an open opportunity with your blunder. Your HP is pretty abysmal, so a hit from any of these guys could take you out. I would pray to your character's god that they succeed their wisdom throws. Can we get on with this already? Barack, it's your turn. I run at the T-Rex and attempt to stab it with my longsword. I get an 18 on my wisdom saving throw and a nat fucking 20 on my attack. You stab into the T-Rex and it howls in pain, thrashing about as it does. While it's distracted, I attack it from behind. Shit, I got a nat one on my wisdom throw. As it's a nat one, I'm not going to allow you to not attack. You'll need to choose a new target to hit. Is it cool with you if I roll a dice for a random target? Yeah, use a d4, use the initiative table with number one at the top. That's another one. Sorry, dude, I use bite and claws on Armin the Cleric. Wait, what? I'm so happy right now. The damage dealt to you, Joe, by the bear has knocked you unconscious. You fall to the floor in a crumpled heap. Yay. Jordan, you could have helped Rogan out there. Lobsters do not concern themselves with land dwellers. Okay, I'm getting tired of this shit. Either sober the fuck up or someone kill him off. I cast Magic Hand and use it to give Barack the finger. The T-Rex uses its tail again, this time at Batista. What's your AC, Barack? 19. Yeah, it smashes you across the body, dealing 24 damage. And I'm down. Great going, fellow spellcasters. I'm going to go smoke a fat one and be back just in time for the TPK. Ah, thanks, Barack. That means a lot. Can I join? Fuck you, Joe. Now for the second attack. It makes to bite Kramen the fighter, but doesn't get a high enough roll to hit. Thank fuck. I'm nearly dead as it is. Now that the T-Rex has attacked, Sanctuary no longer applies. It's on you now, Donald. Now I can fucking shine. I sweep the legs. What's your attack? All you haters can suck my pair of hairy oranges. I got a nat 20. My power is maximum. You hack at the Rex's legs, taking a large chunk out of its left one. It stumbles around in agony. The goblin chief looks down at you, a cold fury in her eyes. She screeches in anger. Okay, Joe, I need a death saving throw from you. Roll a plain d20. I, I got nine. He fails at saving throws like he fails at saving this country. Fuck you, Donald. That's one fail for Joe. Barack's not back yet, so it's on you, Rogan. Right. I'm done with this bullshit. I'm going into a fucking rage. I take the Rex on with my mighty bear claws and rip its fucking flesh with a bite attack. The T-Rex is looking rough. Your bite and claw marks are clearly visible on its body, and you see fast dripping blood where the wounds are deep. Fucking A. You got this, Jordan. Don't fuck it up. Are you with us, Peterson? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. I cast Firebolt at the Goblin Chief. Your Firebolt hits her directly in the face, and she screams in pain. Her face blackened and burnt. She begins shouting. You misogynistic, self-righteous piece of shit. I'll fucking kill you for ruining my perfect face. Bill, eat that fucking asshole now. Hurry up or so help me, I'll finish you myself. The T-Rex roars in response and charges at the wizard. Jaw open wide. It goes to bite. Did it just pass me and Rogan? Opportunity, Opportunity attack. attack. Oh shit, yeah. What are your rolls? 17 to hit. 22 to hit. You both catch the back of its legs as it moves past you. The damage dealt between you causes its legs to buckle and it falls forward straight at the wizard. Jordan, I need a dexterity saving throw from you. I got a five. But wait, using chronal shift as a reaction, I re-roll my saving throw. Oh, shit, it's a nat one. The Rex falls into you and then the tavern, crushing your body under its weight. Just as it hits, the chief goblin jumps off and in midair throws several small items at both the bear and fighter. Both of you roll dexterity saving throws. I got 11. I got 19. Bring it on. They explode on impact, covering both your faces in black soot, obscuring your vision. 
When you finished clearing your eyes, you see her a long distance away, heading into a forest. Joe, Barack, I need your remainder death-saving throws. Jordan, the weight of the wrecks and the rubble from the tavern have outright killed your character. Oh, I like, like being a lobster. How the fuck does a 19 not count as a success? Are you fucking railroading us? Calm down, Donald. Guys, I need your save. No, frankly, Ben, you suck. We've had enough of the squeaker. It's time for a new DM. Yeah, I actually agree with Donald. I was finally the lobster I always wanted to be. And you took that away from me. I want a BM that's not going to question me. Don't you mean DM? There, you see. You could have done things better, Ben. I say we vote on a new DM. Okay, fine. I'll make a call and get someone else to come over. Can I get a ride home, Ben? I'm coming down pretty hard and need to get some sleep. Okay, gang. The party have decided they've had enough of me. For now. But I'm not going to decide who's taking my place. You, the viewer, are. Post your suggestions down in the comment section. After 24 hours from the time this was posted, there will be a poll put up over on the community page with the top four most liked suggestions. There you will have one week to decide who's taking the DM chair. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Why do you have a Pepe plushie in your glove box?